Greetings, friends. It's me, Wayman. Just got up, having a coffee, and I happened to see um, Apostasism's uh, video, uh, the book, the people, or the ideas. And he's wondering uh, if it's each one or a combination of them all contributing to um, extremist ideas or extremist views or fundamentalist views in religion. Uh, -uh. it's the people. Uh, be because the people uh, interpreted the world which created the text which led to other ideas. So it's kind of like creating a art form uh, a little bit where uh, a person may express himself uh, because I, I believe that um, religion is a form of uh, expression, abstract expressionism, and they try to convey those ideas to the community, and then text is written, and then something is practiced. Um, you see these sorts of things happen. Uh, most recently, uh, with stuff like the Branch Divinians, uh, and in the book, uh, Black Elk Speaks. Ex excellent. He he goes away, has a vision, comes back, uh, forms um, a dance for the community to participate in. Uh, that becomes a ritual. So it's it's pretty interesting. So 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 I guess that a lot of times these belief systems end up. Uh, taking on strange and unusual practices uh, and extremist views in retaliation to something. Whether it's a fear of assimilation, whether it's a fear of a change of life, or whether it's a fear of um, modernism, uh, like in Islam, uh, fear of colonialism. So even in ancient Israel, uh, when they're coming out, um, they make the whole law code in retaliation to surrounding cultures. So when you see something strange going on and you uh, see a law, some of the times uh, the uh, explanation, especially in, in the Tanakh or, or Jewish texts, is you know, because people of the land do this, you will do this. And, and some of the huge reformations uh, of Josiah uh, in the Deuteronomistic history, uh, which runs from um, uh, Deuteronomy to Second Kings, um, shows a transformation of those ideas. Uh, also, when they come back from, from the Babylonian captivity, uh, their perspectives changed, but their interpretation of it uh, went back to fundamentalism, uh, because they gathered all the people uh, and they said, you know, you're not obeying the laws. Uh, the people that came back weren't allowed to marry the people who stayed. So there was this huge uh, religious revolution. Uh, I believe it was Ezra uh, who, who did that. So when you, uh, same thing in Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh, in retaliation to the infiltration of Roman and Hellenistic ideas in, in the temple, they felt it impure. So in retaliation to those ideas in society, uh, they would draw from that society and form their own group in the desert, which seems to be very strict and, and have very strict law codes. Uh, but it was all in retaliation to something else that was going on. Uh, we, we see that happen today. And I mentioned the Branch Dominions. We see that happening to, especially Westboro. We, we might look at it uh, from the outside and say, man, these people are loopy. But we never ask and look at it as a science and say, when did these views develop and why? You know, those, those are two important things to almost any text. You know, when the person was writing this, why? Uh, another thing that, that people uh, fail to understand and you mentioned in your video you know you're studying the literature uh, to know how it was supposedly historically read and viewed 
and to what that's a good thing but uh, because uh, the reading of the text always transforms the text means something else to everybody the text means something else to everybody uh, simply because they're interpreting their uh, world experience and their global perspective and their worldview uh, by reading those texts uh, if, if you want to see a, a really good example of these types of interpretations the pressure of Habakkuk uh, in the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls uh, is an example of this uh, it's a pretty neat example because you know they have the text and right under it they write an interpretation that applies to modern times it's called pressure so people use pressure uh, to do this quite a bit uh, Islam in retaliation to modernism and colonialism and Western society ended up adopting these strict laws like you find in Iran you know a lot of this stuff probably never even existed in the time of Muhammad uh, as legalist law codes but out of retaliation to colonialism on came the harsh reformations so uh, it's pretty interesting so I guess people like to accept modernism on their own terms people like to accept religion on their own terms uh, and people like to accept Western civilization on their own terms but a lot of times uh, belief systems uh, including Islam and including including these in your face kind of proselytizing belief systems uh, they don't allow people to accept them on their own terms but rather force them then uh, the society retaliates so I gotta take that it's basically what I wanted to say be well and remember everybody's thinking alike and somebody isn't thinking